What's going on guys? My name is Jacob. And I'm Audrey. We cannot even express how excited we are because Avenged Sevenfold, one of our all-time favorite bands, is finally putting out new music. Actually, they did put out new music. They put out their first song uh, in seven years. Their last album was in 2016, and my god, that just feels so like long ago. forever ago. I mean, Today is a huge day. Huge day for so many A7X fans and I think just rock and metal in general because I yeah. Sevenfold they, they've really worked their way up there they're also another band that people love to hate on for whatever reason but you can't deny it they are one of the biggest modern rock slash metal bands of all time and it's honestly historic that they're putting out new music already I just I can't believe it I mean seven years is a really long time. I mean, what, long time. when the stage came out, you and I, I mean, we're the same age. We were like 20, 21 when they put out their last album. And I mean, we're such, I mean, I'm sure you're much, I didn't know you then, but I myself was so different. I was much different when I was 20, 21. Oh, I know. absolutely. And I was a little like country bumpkin, so <laughs> definitely different. I, I still listen to it. I loved that album, so... It was over hated. A lot of people didn't like it, but I think it's, it's different. It's different, but I just feel like it's so interesting. It was a concept album, which mm -hmm. I did a little bit of reading on this new album that's actually called Life is But a Dream. It's out June second. This is also a concept album. Um, I guess it has the theme is like existential crisis, <laughs> which I'm kind of going through right now, just thinking about. Seven years has gone by. It's like, my God, my life has changed so much in seven years. Well, it has. I mean, in the last two years with, like, COVID and, you know, everything else in the world. So, a lot has changed. Yeah, not in only our lives, and but the world Everybody. in general, but Avenged Sevenfold. So, I'm really curious to see what where their mindset is at with all this new music. And I'm really looking forward to see what's different about this. Yeah. So, well, yeah. we've done enough talking, so let's just get into it. Uh, okay, I'm so excited. I've been waiting all day for this. Let's do it. This is Avenged Sevenfold's new song called Nobody. Here we go. It does sound a lot like it belongs in the stage album, you know, like, so this one is probably going to sound a lot like the stage. I, yes, I, that's so crazy. Yeah, I thought the same exact thing. Like, this just sounds kind of like the realm. It does, um, yeah. It's not, it's, we haven't heard, we haven't even heard, uh, we barely heard a sixth of the song, and it's, I'm already really interested. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of familiar elements with Avenged. Um, you can tell like a Matt Shadow's voice has uh, changed a little bit. It yes. sounds the same, but I mean, of course, he's gotten older in the last seven years, so you can hear that in his voice. But it's so nice to hear that. I, like I'm trying to like not cry because I'm so happy to hear his voice again. It's so 
you nailed it. Like, it, we're all getting older. Everybody's getting older. It's been seven years. He's obviously, I don't know, I think he's probably in his early 40s now. He might be 40, mm -hmm. 41 mm -hmm. if I, I but, um, yeah, you can kind of hear it in his voice. It's a little aged. And part of me is like, God, it's, it's sad. But it at the same sad. time, it's beautiful because he's just like us. Seven years has gone by. He's grown, he's aged, we've grown, we've aged. Yeah. But overall, it's just really cool to hear that it's it's still very familiar. It's still very avenged. It is very avenged. Uh, okay, let's get let's, back. Let's go, let's do it. That's funny that you say that because I was just thinking, like, this video is really cool. It's, yeah. like, all stop motion. And right when you said that, I was just thinking that it reminds me of the video for the stage. Yeah. Which, do you remember? It was, like, I was actually quite the literally puppets. a stage on the puppets. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it didn't show any of the band members or whatever. It was just all, like, this really cool cinematic video. And that's like this. And ironically, the video for that song was all, that was also the first song they put out for that album. So in a way, this is kind of mirroring that, mm -hmm. and it's just really interesting. Like, I can't wait to like listen to this and watch the video more and like reflect on the lyrics and like really trying to figure out what this is about, because there's something here. Well, it, it's showing people hard at work, for one, because we all are like mm -hmm. working very hard, and then there's a war, obviously, yeah. right now that's going on, and you know, we're at war with ourselves and with everybody around us, whether mm -hmm. we choose to or not to. It's just the government and everything else. Exactly. So and then that's kind of reflecting that now. Yeah. And then another thing I'd like to point out before we go back, because I, I want to keep on listening, but with that, have you noticed it's all skeletons? It is, yeah. So it's like, in a way, it's kind of like everybody's doing all this, but in the end, all we are is just skeletons. We're all going to die. We're all, you know. So it's almost like, what's the point in all of this? God, I'm going into an ex existential crisis right now just thinking <laughs> about this. Exactly this is this this is art. This is we're already talking about this. We're only halfway through this song. All right, let's get back into it.
Christ. Wow. The metaphor from this video. This is... say this this song in this album is going to be very 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 meaningful it's very powerful with just the video alone like even if if you were to just have the ending of the song and not even have like what he's saying which happy he's speaking of course but the video says a lot yeah without words. there's i can't like i said i can't wait to go back and rewatch this listen to the lyrics and really, really try to pay attention to this more because, you know, I feel like, and Avenged Sevenfold did this with the last album, but I really feel like they're evolving into, like, all of their older songs are songs that, you know, I mean, all of their songs and all of their albums have meaning and they're all beautiful in their own mm -hmm. way, um, but I just feel like a lot of their older songs, songs like, Bat Country, Beast and the Harlot, Critical Acclaim. Like, there's songs that you can put on and just, just like, listen to, and you can do whatever. Like, you could go for a run, you could go to the gym, go for a drive, whatever. Um, even, dare I say, have as background music, which I feel like is kind of bad to say. But, like, with this song, and I really feel like, like you said, with this album, um, it's really going to be, like, you really have to sit down and listen to it. Mm -hmm. Like, it's not music to just... To just hear like you really have to listen to it like it's really it's meaningful art like it yeah art. the stage was like that too it was very very sophisticated and i feel like this is probably mm -hmm. even more so which i wasn't even sure if they could yeah. even do that i'm sure a lot of people will not like this because we have waited so long for them to come back yeah but there's a reason they took so long to come back and exactly. this album is gonna reflect it and it's gonna be I can't wait for it. I, I really cannot wait. You know, even just the part of the video where he was lifting the flower and there was a price tag, that says a lot right there. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, nature is, is. you know, nature is kind of fading because we just keep replacing it with... with my, that's funny that you, you know, that's a really interesting take because I was viewing it in a sort of different way, actually. Really? Yeah, so the way I interpreted it was that everything he's picking up flowers and he's picking up rocks there's price tags and that just i feel like was a reflection on like society today that everything has a price tag no matter what it is mm -hmm. um things that really shouldn't have a price tag there is a price tag on it or i guess these are barcodes but you know same thing but like that yeah. what you said is interesting i think that there's many ways to to read this exactly and honestly just the fact that we're talking about this alone mm -hmm. That goes to show that that's art. That it's it's this is already doing what it's supposed to do. You're supposed to talk about it and think about it, and people have different viewpoints and interpretations, and that's really what art is about. Mm -hmm. That's what life is about. It's just different interpretations and experiences. Um, my God, the more we talk about this, the more I'm like, wow, this is incredible. Avenged Sevenfold is honestly. 
I'm speechless, honestly. Yeah. I, I know we've said so much, but at the same time, I feel like we haven't said enough. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, there's more to say about it. I want to listen to it more, and then maybe, like, I, I love looking at lyrics, so I'll yeah. probably do that just to kind of, like, really yeah. figure out what he's saying, but yeah. um, this... This was great. I'm happy that we finally got to hear something from them. I've been waiting all day. I know he's been waiting all day. It came yeah. out this morning, but we were both at work. And so, so we both kind of like We were itching to, yeah, we to were like, this. we got to do this. We got to check yeah. it out. Uh, and it didn't disappoint. It was, it was really good. I'm very happy with it. Me, so am I. Can't it, wait to hear more. Yeah, and, and yeah, you said, I think a lot of people are probably going to dislike it. Um, a lot of people just, for some reason, they're not into, um, watching bands evolve and, you know, change their sound. Yeah. Me, personally, I've always enjoyed when bands and artists do something different, and it shows really, it shows their musicianship and their ability to adapt and just try new things, and I just think that's the coolest. As long as you don't lose, um, like, elements of what makes, you know, they an artist them. who they are. Because this still sounds very much... Like Avenged Sevenfold, but yeah, obviously it, it is much different. It is probably the most artistic piece of music I've ever heard from them. Yeah, I. I mean, because like it does have some aspects where I heard a little bit of a little piece of heaven as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, they have a lot of the violin in it yeah, and I'll, the trumpets oh, gosh. that I heard, so that reminds me of of um, a little piece of heaven. Yes. So it, it still does sound like Avenged Sevenfold, but. What people do need to understand is that each band is going to grow. They're going to change. Yes. And, if and if you, you don't, don't like it... Well, that's on you because bands change, people change, mm -hmm. and if you're not along for the ride, well, you know, it's yeah. not for everybody, but... And now they're just making more powerful stuff, and that's okay. They need to... They have a message to put out, and this is the way that they're going to do it. And Absolutely. And need to appreciate it. And I think the one word, just kind of... To kind of leave off of this is that I feel like this is so mature. Is Avenged mature. Sevenfold have just reached this level of maturity and sophistication. And it's like, my God, this is just nothing short of incredible. Mm. With that said, I am so excited for the album. Life is But a Dream is what it's called. It comes we, out June 2nd. We already purchased the vinyl. Yeah. And a CD. Yeah. And, and the cassette. cassette and some other merch. All before listening to this song. Uh, that sounds crazy, but we're just such huge really Avenged fans, so... We are. Uh, <laughs> yeah. We've for years, so very excited to um, break this out for this video. Yeah, this was Finally. this was the quite the experience. I can't wait. We've already said everything that we wanted to say, so we'll just leave it at that. Yeah. Uh, if you liked what you saw today, please consider subscribing to our channel. If you liked the video... Please like the video, comment down below, let us know what you thought of Avenged Sevenfold's new song. Again, it's not going to be for everybody, but I really would like to hear um, different people's interpretations of the song, yeah. too. Like, alone, just that little segment. You and I had How two do different... How you feel about it, you know? Because uh -huh. I, I feel like there's going to be a lot of different meanings you can take from this. And exactly. perspectives, and I don't think that there's any wrong answer. Nope, and that's what makes it so incredibly unique and just so special. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. yeah, let us know. That's it for this mm -hmm. video, so thanks Thank for watching. You. We'll see you later.